Yeah, seeing that guy who hit level 30 and all the attention that he got makes me wish that I was back doing interviews again. I'm tempted to call him mm -hmm. up, see if I can get in contact and interview him over the PlayStation Network. Put him on my YouTube channel there. So are you a uh, journalist or something? I used to be. From 2007 to 2010, I ran a music news website. So I interviewed bands and reviewed albums and went to concerts and uh, it was fun. Nice. Really passionate about it. I wish I could have kept going with it, but I wasn't making any money, so I had to quit it unfortunately. Yeah. Sticks, you like metal bands, right? Did we already talk about this? Uh, more like just classic rock and oh, okay. some of the eighties eighties metal. Alright, there was somebody I was talking to who was in metal bands, and I mentioned a couple of guys who I interviewed. I was like, oh, you know those guys? Uh, the biggest band who I interviewed was Killswitch Engage. Nice. But the problem with interviewing bigger bands is that they've got set times and you have to wait outside the bus. So yeah, there ended up being a reputation at the side of, you know, bus bands versus van bands. You talk to a band who's coming out of a van, they want to do that interview as soon as possible and they got lots of stuff to say and they're happy to see you. When you're interviewing bus bands, they got so many interviews lined up and they're really tired and you got to wait for them. That's like... Hi, how are you? I just got out of this interview where they're asking me dumb questions like, what's my favorite color? You've got 15 minutes. <laughs> really? I just released a new album. You want to ask me how I would survive in a zombie apocalypse? And my best interviews would usually last about 45 minutes. Hmm. Okay, Matt, you could start about now. <laughs> oh, no. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, that's it. Lag. Bad connection. Especially from the host. Yeah, I'm trying to think, when's the last time I played on peer-to-peer -peer servers? Okay. Rumble ran a lot Yeah, louder. ten months. It's been ten months, and that was Noob Speed Rivals. <laughs> <laughs> That's peer-to-peer? -peer? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could do that. How many how many cars run at once? Did you race sixteen people at once or eight? Six. Six. Yeah. Oh, okay. That would definitely be a period. That game did that. some things right, but it did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> Control. Well, the thing that I'm noticing yeah, I'm, I'm now is that uh, with need the Need for Speed Go. games, people have just gotten so I don't know. Everybody's always like, I remember the old one being great. The thing that I like about the Need for Speed games is that they continually reinvent them. They try to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Enemy captured the problem I see, though, that, that's going on is that a. I'll see internet memes about the, the Need for Speed games, and it's always like, remember this Need for Speed game on the PlayStation 2? So yeah. it's sort of become a nostalgia run now. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing that I noticed with Call of Duty is that it's like every journalist now Enemy says that uh, Modern Warfare... Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was the best. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with that. You know, and I think it's... I think it's through the fact that it was just what it did at the time. I don't think there was a game that big. I nailed everything just right. 
you really popularized online gaming to the casual crowd. Yeah. Well, that, that was like the major console online game, besides Warhawk, nice. maybe. Whoa! I walked into a group of three of them. Oh, I saw ow. all the guns pointed at me, it's like I walked into a firing squad. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen. <laughs> oh! You get a better revolver. Yeah. The one from the Crucible Quartermaster is pretty nice. It's got range finder. Oh, nice. See, the problem yeah, with this so one you can has point that... it and still see your radar. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting that one. I also like the one from, uh, what's the faction? Future War Cult. It looks really nice. I haven't played on I haven't played on that long. Um, unfortunately, got to spend time going to college and, and uh, yeah, uploading the here. files to the internet, but... Yeah, the problem with the revolver that I have is that it holds 11 you rounds. And because it holds so many rounds, they're a lot weaker. So I just haven't been able to find another revolver that's yeah. uh, any better. Yeah, I recently got the bounty for Thorn. Zone a I'm so close to calling that one in. I just need to need to uh, complete... What is it? Uh, the summoning yeah, bits. Never mind. I'm on B. Really, see? I'm not too good at PvP, so I Whoa! think I'll never get it because you got oh, 500 man. void damage you gotta get. We were all looking in the other direction when he nailed us. Yeah. Heavy ammo available. Super ready. See, the mode that I like the most. I usually like games that have rotating objectives, like uh, Kill Zone. Mm -hmm. I love that. Nice. And uh, Max Payne 3 had a mode called Gang War, rotating mode as well. I was great at that one as well. That was actually really popular too. Um, what Kill Zone? Uh, Max Payne yeah. 3, the Gang Wars mode for it. I thought for sure, like I came in. I went in not long after it was released, and then I came back later, and I thought that nobody would be playing that mode, because Team Deathmatch seems to be the most popular one. Crap. But nope, that one had a good cult following. And I did well in that game, too. I had a really good fix on the controls. Whoa! That guy knows what he's doing. Hollywood Vice? Zone B secure. Yeah. Alright, get that guy. Aw, oh, damn it, it's the kill. <laughs> Wondering where that guy was from. His radar was saying he was right on top of me. I don't trust the radar. <laughs> well, they make it a little bit. Um... It's too simplistic. You see, they yeah, it should be color coded proximity. Plus, it also should be a mini map. Yeah, I would like a mini map. I know why they did the quadrant sort of deal, it's so that uh, you wouldn't know specifically where people are. Enemy captured. So oh, I get that. So it doesn't become abusive. Yeah. Don't see neutralized. I just don't... again, I don't think you should have like permanent radar because uh, that just doesn't make it funny because you can't sneak up on people. That guy was lag. So Again, half my playstyle re resides on stealth. Yeah, That's I did that in Max Payne 3 as well. That away from me. See, in Max Payne 3, if you weren't running or firing, you would not appear on the map. Ouch. In BF4, it's just, if you're firing, you appear on the map. 
Or if you're spotted, you appear in the map. That's it. Zone A neutralized. Oh. Zone A. Cordella Bros. Feels okay. like that guy's uh, shielding is all the way up. Enemy captured Zone C. Heavy ammo on the way. Alright, I'm on B. I don't think I'm gonna be there long. Heavy ammo available. Alright, heavy ammo. You neutralized zone B. Yeah, somebody's coming. Coming from the front. Yeah, try and hold A so we can B. get that heavy ammo. Let's see if I can draw attention back to Charlie. I'm going there too. I'm with his sticks. Five minutes remaining. Man, I got nobody with my super. Enemy captured zone A. I hate it when that happens. You neutralize. I know. You're gonna really block? nail somebody, and you accidentally hit a wall or something. Yeah, the block and A got in my way. Alright, I'm heading to A with his sticks. Nice, double down. Awesome. Zone B lost. I'm on A. There's a guy here. I can't see him though. There he is. Oh, I was just. Uh, I saw him backing up for that, and I was about to avoid him. Got him. Do it that's in time. Surprising. I forget what that's for. Zone A neutralized. Awesome. I'm heading to B. No one's got the other heavy ammo yet, I'm going for it. Control that guy with my super. I hope I did. Nice. Alright. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Alright. Whoa. You neutralized zone B. Got him. B. Awesome. You captured zone B. You fight to win, Guardian. So fight. C lost. Enemy captured zone C. You neutralized zone A. Alright, time to head to C. After you this. captured zone A. Zone B lost. Sure, yeah. kill. <laughs> Let this defeat. You know, yep. I'm not gonna count this as a total oh. loss because I saw how much we came back from. We came back from a big deficit there. Yeah, we didn't do bad. But you should still probably back out and come back in so we don't face that team again. <laughs> hey, 1.38, nice. 1.5. Oh, Z-Man really has that lone wolf thing going. Well, 1.4. Wait, 0.14? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I thought I had I had some assists. <laughs>